Present. Councilman Genzo? Present. Supervisor Bello? Here. Councilman Boardway? Present. Councilman Keating? Present. Councilman Keating? Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Item number one is preliminary matters. We have nothing under preliminary matters tonight. Item number two, under regular business, correction and adoption of minutes from November 2nd, 2016. Council. Uh, yes, uh, Supervisor, thank you. I've had the opportunity to review those minutes. They do have some errors in it. I make a motion they be tabled at this time. Second. Can you state what the errors are, please? Oh, I thought you heard us downstairs. Um, yeah, some of the votes that were reported were not reported correctly, particularly with uh, respect to the moving of appropriation to 24 celebrations. Uh, it's reported in the minutes that I have a draft copy of that we all voted yes, that's not accurate. Councilman Munger and uh, Councilman Ketting specifically voted no. Okay, I will correct that. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Oh, I'm sorry, Councilman Munger. Yes. Councilman Genzel? Yes. Supervisor Bello? Yes. Councilman Boardway? Yes. Councilman Keating? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number two is consideration of all fund bills. Councilman Keating? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. This time I've had the opportunity to review all the bills. Uh, total bills are totaling $272,072.15. And I'd like to make a motion to approve those bills. Second. Councilman Munger? Yes. Councilman Genzel? Yes. Supervisor Bello? Yes. Councilman Boardway? Yes. Councilman Keith? Yes. Hi, item number three is correspondence. We have correspondence tonight from uh, Society of St. Vincent de Paul, St. John the Baptist Food Pantry. Um, I'll just read it quickly. It's to inform you that the food pantry operated by the Society of St. Vincent de Paul at, con at conference, St. St. John the Baptist, Boston, New York will discontinue its operations as of December 1st, 2016. Therefore, we can no longer accept donations as we must deplete our inventory by November 17, 2016. We thank you for all your past generosity and hope that you continue to support another local food pantry. Sincerely, Pat Rooney, President. <clears throat> Item number four is new business. New business, and we have a request from the floor. Please come up, state your name and address, and make a motion to open the floor. A second. Councilman Munger? Yes. Councilman Genzel? Yes. Yes. Councilman Boardway? Yes. Councilman Keating? Yes. Okay. Richard Hawkins, 6892 Pinoff Drive. Uh, I understand that you guys had just had your uh, veterans dinner and stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, I was wondering how the, the list came up. Because uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, my father-in-law died nine years ago. He got an invitation. My son, who's returned less than two years ago from Afghanistan, being 90% totally disabled, was no way near invited to this party. I understand that mugs were handed out to everybody that was there. My son deserves one as much as anybody else's son that was there that did not get invited. And I'm sure that there are many more people in this town that didn't get invited. So I don't know how the list was taken care of, whether it was because of taxpayer roles of people who are taxpayers, uh, the assessor's office, or wherever else that they came up with. And I'm not saying that the, the dinner was not a, a bad idea or whatever else or a good idea, but there are a lot of people in this town, I think, that probably could have been there and should have been there to be honored was not. Uh, I'd like to know how many of the town board were invited to be there? All of them. All of them. Uh, were all of them veterans? Did your wife go? Uh, I don't think that's really in well, the it's, Mr. Hawkins. Well, it is. But just because so you know, Mr. Hawkins, I wrote a check out for my own dinner. I, I don't care what you did. I ask a question. Okay. I understand that. Okay, because maybe I would have been gone. Maybe I would have been invited. Maybe I would have wrote a check also. That's not the point. The point is, the dinner what? was set up for the town board for veterans. It was set up for veterans. Hello. Right. Well, and there was I five, get, over 500, I think 500 and 500 invitations. At least. 
I understand that there were a lot of people that were invited. I also understand that there was probably about 180 people that actually showed up, or, or whatever the actual amount was. It doesn't really matter. It's the point it of, matter. I thought it was a nice way to kick it, off the 200th anniversary. I'm just saying that there are a lot of people in this town that should have been. I understand, as I said, to the mugs that were handed out. What, what are happening to those mugs that people didn't get? Uh, I'm sure we have extra, and I have no problem getting you one for your son. Thank you very much. I would appreciate that. Oh, Thank absolutely. you. Uh, Brian Burns, 6556 Chestnut Lane. Once again, two and a half years later, still voicing my concern about the dirt that's in the end of Chestnut Lane, which is a direct violation of town code. And uh, once again, stating that that whole mess and complete disarray, which is uh, the town engineer said was an environmental mess. Mr. Genzel agreed. And a bunch of board members even agreed, and it still hasn't been cleaned up. It's still a detrimental mess in my backyard. Uh, if we want to be good neighbors, we need to get that addressed. And Bob is the one who created that whole mess. Thank you. I make a motion to close it. No, I second. Okay, wait. wait. Um. Uh, Joanne Bonzig, 7130 on Phileas Road. The, the um, preliminary budget, when is that going to be passed? We're doing the actual the, budget. We're doing the budget tonight. The whole budget. Because I could not find it on the website at all. Where is it? Where can I find the budget? I mean, if you're going to be voting on something, it's not on the website. And I had some concerns about some of the expenditures that were going down on this particular budget. And we had a public hearing at the last meeting. It was on the website, the budget, so it shows. I don't, where, where? I mean, I searched and searched for the budget. It is on file at the clerk's office. But it, but it should be. I, what I'm saying is if I had a hard time finding it on the website, <clears throat> we have some issue. I mean, there are some expenditures that are over and up above what I think um, that would be prudent and uh, for the town, the whole town to know. I just don't know if that has been, for instance, is well, but, and we it should be up on the website, so I'll address that one first. I'll make sure that I'll go through it tomorrow and make sure if I see it up there. It should be up there. It was up there last time. I, I did. I, I mean, I searched under what headline, what what button bar. I couldn't find it. Okay, I'd be happy to go through that with you. Okay. Well, there's just a few things. Now, I just have one issue. Is this? Do I bring this up now or when you pay well, the budget? We already had the public hearing on it. But if you have I mean, was that the public hearing that I went to with the budget review? That was the hearing? At the last board meeting was the public hearing. So it's a, everything is a done deal? Yeah, we're going to um, uh, hopefully adopt the budget tonight. So if we have, there's any recourse, there's no recourse on a lot of what you have put down on paper? No, we had a public hearing last week. Last week? At, weeks. To, at last meeting. That's where the public comes and addresses any concerns. You weren't here. That's when you voice your opinion. Was I here? Okay. I was here. No, not at the last meeting. So. Okay. So everything is a dumb deal. It has to come. If it, pass, if it passes tonight, it is. I'll bring up your concerns anyway. Should I bring up my concerns anyway? Yes. Uh, um, okay. My concern was for the assessor's office. Is that a part-time or full-time position? It's part-time? There's a part-time and a full-time. Okay, so it's going from part time to full time. It's ten on the website. It's it's ten ten o'clock to two o'clock, or the hours. So that's a part time position. Uh, plus her plus her on the road or in field at the house. Well, the only reason why I'm asking is I I had some business that there's, I want. There's going to be some hours that are going to be changed within the town hall for some of the for some of the. And it's, and last year it was twenty eight thousand dollars, and it's up to what what amount is it going to, for the assessor? goes to 38. Okay, so you're going for from part-time to full-time. My concern was, among other things that I've already passed, and unfortunately, if you're paying an extra, what is it, $11,000 or whatever, how come is that the Hamburg and Town of Orchard Park have one assessor? I don't understand the expenditures there, the extra expenditures for that one position. 
it doesn't seem prudent to to have a full-time position plus a part-time position in in a, in a place in a, a city that's I mean excuse me a village that has 8,000 people those are some fabulous concerns to bring up at a public well, hearing. Don't I, I'd be more than happy to sit down with you after the meeting and go through Can you hear me okay, I, I would be happy to sit down. Well, but, but I understand that. But if I can't find the budget online, what is our recourse? I mean, everybody's busy and we have jobs. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not the only person. There are other online items that have been spent that my concern is not just for me, but for the citizens of Boston that for the for the next election and for people coming into to office that you are spending down any kind of monies that are in the budget for certain appropriations my, one of my big concerns was and it, and it still is the two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the, the splash pad okay now that's a ma isn't it ma'am 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 ma 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 there's no splash pad approved it was a it was a grant that we went after we didn't receive it. You didn't receive it. So we haven't there. been notified of receiving the grant, ma'am. Uh, you're mm -hmm. bringing up things that are unrealistic that don't make sense. Well, I'm just, well, I'm just, well, we're, I'm just looking at so, monies so, that have been spent for the town. Okay. You want to you go on yeah, that? Thanks. That's fine. I have my three minutes. No, ma'am, ma'am, I'd be more than sitting happy to sit and answer your questions after, but um, there's no money spent. There's no money in the budget for a splash pad. That was just a grant no different than the grant that we're going to approve that... Well, well we talked about but it on numerous occasions, so I thought it was, so it was a done deal. Normal grants you go after. There's no splash pad approved, there's no nothing. So there's no pool, no splash pad? Not unless I know that we received a grant for it. All right, thank you. Okay, anybody else? Shane Quinlan, 6700 Legal Road. Um, Mrs. Bonza is partially right about <coughs> this public budget hearing that uh, I feel you guys dropped the ball on it. I mean, you read the notice after the hearing last meeting. That's, it was like you opened the meeting, hurried it up, opened the floor, and many people in this town were in the dark. Where was the budget? Wasn't presented clearly. Um, no transparency. I think that's exactly what I said last meeting, and I'll stand here and say it again. I stood right here last year. Same thing. I commented about the budget. I addressed the board last year, and I believe our, our, our town attorney actually spoke up and tried to discredit what I was saying. I didn't address him at all. I tried to comment about the budget. Some of my concerns from last year are still here this year. Let me just ask one thing before I sit down. A large appropriation is made to the Fireman's Service Award account every year. This year it's greatly reduced. Is the Fireman's Award uh, account, is it 100% funded yet? There, there's never been 100%, nor there will ever be 100% funding on that account because it goes then, up and down, loses money. Why would we drop the budget by so much this year? Uh, Mr. Quinlan, be because, because actually the fund is now is making money. Your previous, um, um, you know, board um, dropped the ball and let it lose tons and tons of money, and we've worked hard to bring that account back up, and it is making money. So if you'd like to speak about the um, fireman's budget and the appropriations towards it, we can speak after the meeting. But you didn't bring that up at the public hearing, Mr. Quinlan, did you? Very so now, now you want to talk about the um, appropriation to the fireman's fund. It is making money. So instead of continually adding um, good money to bad money and losing, we've turned it around. So um, what, what else do you need to know? Where the transparency is, no, it's not the first. Sammy's first in the year. clerk's office all the time. There's the budget's on file there. You can't get a copy of it. Um, and so, and yes so you know, know. So, so you know, the money that's appropriated for that is obviously taxpayers' money, raised from taxpayers. But the, some of the money appropriated for that also comes from our sales tax revenue, and you're yes. allowed to use some of it on the sales tax revenue and for the good of the town. So. We put extra money into it. We switch plans, 
and Mr. Gensel brought in a new um, firm within the first month and made $156,000. So the plan is being stabilized. And when you take and no, that no, no, no plan in any town, just so you know, if you do the research. And there's a part right. right here, right. is at 100%. That's it's right, impossible. I understand. Well, unless you work for the school district where where our tax dollars save so, it when it when it fails, right? So well, like you do pick you do work for the I, um, again trying town to funded tax trying, dollars. Trying, right? trying to discredit what I'm saying. So what I'm there, trying to know, say, just so you know, Shane, there's there's none that is at 100 percent. Nor will okay. any of them ever probably be at 100 percent. When you take the, the number the, out of a budget as big as 100 thousand dollars. No, 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 75. 75. Okay, you take that out completely to put that back over would be very difficult in the future. No, because it's not raised by taxation. Sales tax. It's brought in from sales tax. It's not raised by taxing because there's no increase in anybody's taxes, again, doesn't it for the eight, the for the eight year in a row. There's does, no increase. Does not affect the reserves that you're at? Well, <laughs> and did this town have very large reserve for a lot of years before this board of six years was put in office? You're, you're incorrect yes. because we raised the reserve, Shane. You really Shane, need to get your, your board, information correct. Shane? As of six years ago, it was carrying a $600,000 reserve year after year, and now it's no, no, you're barely actually wrong. 300000 You're You're actually wrong. We can talk about this another time. Actually, let's save this for another time. No, I'd be more than happy to answer the question. In 2009, the, un the unassessed fund balance was 1278775000 In 2015, it $1,586,745. So I, your numbers are a little bit incorrect on it, but actually the fund balance has gone up. And no taxes have been raised in two, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years, going into the eighth year. So no, no taxes have been raised in town. So well, he's, he's done asking questions on this. So we I, I, want, I wanted to just answer it for you. So once you point the facts out, so we'll so, right. Okay. So let's keep going. Yeah. Anybody else at this time? Sure, the mic's picking me up. I want to make sure it's all on. Okay. I make a motion then. I'm kind of like, stop. We got a meeting around here. I make a motion to close the floor. Second. Councilman Munger? Yes. Councilman Gensel? Yes. Councilman Bello? Yes. Councilman Boardway? Yes. Councilman Keene? Yes. Item number two Tracy Hurst requests to attend Associates in Towns Annual Conference. Councilman Munger. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. We received a request from uh, Tracy Hirsch, who um, resides on our Board of um, you know, Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, Mr. Hirsch um, wrote a letter here. Dear, dear Mr. Baylor, I'd like to inform you and the town board of my interest in attending the Associates Town's annual meeting in New York City, February 19th through 22nd, 2017. Please let me know if this is possible. I've always found it, this to be a helpful and very informative session. Um, last year, we sent Mr. Hirsch to the New York City meeting and we also sent Mrs. Pajakalo there. So at this time I would uh, recommend denying um, Mr. Hirsch's request um, based on the fact that he went last year and I think a couple planning board members should be offered um, the opportunity to attend this meeting. I think it would be very helpful for a couple of those members. No, I'll second that. Councilman Munger? No. Councilman Genzel? Yes. Supervisor Barlow? Yes. Councilman Boardway? Yes. And Councilman Keating? No. Motion's carried. Item number three is the application for use of facility for the Boston Croppers. And, oops, sorry, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Yes, we have an uh, application for use of facility by the Boston Croppers, um, filled out by Betty Kaiser, the organizer, requesting the dates of January 14th. 2017, these are all in 2017, February 11th, March 11th, April 8th, May 13th, June 10th, September 9th, October 14th, November 11th, December 9th, uh, from the times of 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. for scrapbooking, 
in the town hall community room and kitchen. Uh, they will not be serving alcohol. It is not a private party. It is not a public special event. They have paid their fees and deposits. I would like to make a motion that we approve the use of facility for the Boston Crowders. Second. Councilman Munger. Yes. Councilman Genzel. Yes. Supervisor Vallow. Yes. Councilman Bordway. Yes. And Councilman Keating. Yes. Carried. Item number four we have is a Boston Emergency Squad appointment. Yes, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I have a letter from the Boston Emergency Squad at uh, the Boston Emergency Squad's meeting on uh, November 9, 2016. Uh, they had approved the membership for Alan, Alexander Kroesberger. Kroesberger. Kroesberger, thank you. Uh, he resides at uh, 6453 Covington Place. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, Alexander to the Boston Emergency Squad. Second. Second. Councilman Munger. Yes. Councilman Genzel. Yes. Supervisor Ballow? Yep. Councilman Bordway? Yes. Councilman Keating? Yes. Here. Item number five, under new business, Kathy Selby letter of resignation. Um, at this time I have a letter of resignation dated November 10, 2016, addressed to the town of Boston, 8500 Boston State Road, Boston, New York, dear Supervisor Ballow and honorary, honorary town board members. It is with mixed emotion that I submit this letter of resignation from my bookkeeper and budget director position effective November 30, 2016. I have received an opportunity at Hamburg Central School District as a school district treasurer. I've enjoyed working for the town in this position for the last 15 years. I would like to thank you for your support given to me over the years and recently expressed and appreciate express and appreciate at the last town board meeting on November 2nd, 2016. I've learned much about our government in this great town of ours and now look forward to the next adventure. Please know that I can make myself available to en enable a smooth transition as needed around my schedule. Again, it has been a, <clears throat> been a distinct honor to serve the board and residents of our community. Sincerely, Kathy Selby. I make a motion to accept Kathy's letter of Resignation. And of course, with reservation and uh, almost thanks, I second that motion. Councilman Munger? Yes. Councilman Genzel? Yes. Supervisor Bello? Yes. Councilman Bordway? Yes. Councilman Keating? Yes. Carried. <coughs> Item number six is ASR Systems Groups Incorporated Contract Approval. This is off the state bid. These are the people who will be redoing the um, vault downstairs, the mobile system for archival boxes and ledger storage system. Consists of two mobile carriers, 32 inches deep by 14 feet long and 88 inches high, and one row of static shelving, 16 inches deep by 42 inches and wide by 88 high <coughs> along the wall. Uh, mobile, car mobile carriages to the uh, house, seven section for boxes, storage, 42 boxes, um, five static sections for ledgers. Um, so this was a grant that was given and we're going to be moving forward with this grant. We had the opportunity to talk downstairs. We're going to have a secure site for all our records um, to be moved to while the construction is being done downstairs. So I make a motion to accept the bid in the amount of $16,393.40, or 40 cents. Second. Councilman Munger? Yes. Councilman Genzel? Yes. Supervisor Bello? Yes. Councilman Bordway? Yes. Councilman Keating? Yes. Great. Under old business, Adopting the 2017 preliminary budget. At this time, I'm going to make a motion. Uh, before I make the motion, I'm going to read the 2017 preliminary budgets. For general, for general, in the fund of appropriation and appropriations, they have one million eight hundred seventeen thousand seven hundred seventeen dollars. Estimated revenues is one million three hundred forty-eight thousand nine hundred dollars. Appropriation fund balance is $280,000, raised by taxation is $180,817. For the highway, appropriations is $1,134,344, estimated revenues $361,260, appropriated fund balance 
$25,000, raised by taxation $748,084. For fire, we have $747,000. There is no estimated revenues and nothing coming from the fund balance and it's raised by taxation of $747,000. Lighting, we have $16,000. Estimated revenues, zero. Appropriated fund balance, zero. Raised by taxation, $16,000. For ambulance, we have appropriations of $97,984, estimated revenues $10,000, appropriations from fund balance $5,000, raised by taxation $82,984. Refuse and garbage, appropriations $588,000, estimated revenues zero, appropriated fund balance $9,336, raised by taxation. $578,664. Water, Water District Number One, $79,909. Estimated revenues, zero. Appropriated fund balance, zero. Raised by taxation, $79,909. Water District Number Two, $51,000 from appropriations, $326. Estimated revenue, zero. Appropriated fund balance, zero. Raised by taxation, $51,326. Water district number one, extension one. Appropriations, $3,000. Estimated revenues, zero. Appropriated fund balance, zero. Raised by taxation, $3,000. Water district two, extension two. Appropriations, $28,862. Estimated revenues, zero. Appropriated fund balance, zero and raised by taxation, $28,862. Water District Number Three, appropriations, $244,086. Estimated revenues, zero. Appropriated fund balance, zero. Raised by taxation, $244,086. Water District Three, extension one. Appropriations, $10,962. Raised by taxation, estimated revenues, zero. Appropriated fund balance, zero. Raised by taxation, $10,962. For the totals and appropriations will be $4,819,190. Estimated revenues, $1,720,160. Appropriated fund balance, $319,336. Raised by taxation, $2,779,694. I make a motion to adopt the preliminary 2017 budget for the town of Boston. And I'll second that. Councilman Munger? No. Councilman Genzo? Yes. Supervisor Ballow? Yes. Councilman Boardway? Yes. Councilman Keating? No. Motion is carried. Item number two, under emergency squad building, garage door quotes. There was no need to put new garage doors on there. We put new, uh, after talking with the squad after the last meeting, we put new gaskets around the doors for them. That's all they actually really needed. So I make a motion not to um, get new garage doors. I'll second it. Councilman Munger? Yes. Councilman Genzel? Yes. Supervisor Bailo? Yes. Councilman Boardway? Yes. Councilman Keating? Yes. Carried. Item number six is reports and presentations. Town Clerk. The only thing I have this evening is um, I was given a notification from a local veteran in town for a it's called SERV, S-E-R-V. It's Niagara's third annual Thanksgiving dinner deliveries for veterans and families in need. Um, if you know of a veteran who could use a little autumn cheer, please contact us. We will be honored to deliver a traditional Thanksgiving meal and our appreciation for their service. The dinner delivery dates are Monday and Tuesday, November 21st and 22nd. Um, there is no name as far as a contact person, but um, there is a phone number, it is 716-912-0522, or you can go to info at serve, 
niagara.org. Um, I also have flyers in my office, and I did put some flyers out on the table. If anybody is interested in those of anyone who um, may benefit from one of these dinners. <coughs> Nine one two zero five two two. Do you have a contact? There's no one. Yes, thank you. Um, leaf pickup in town is still going on. Um, the highway workers been out every day picking up leaves. They're doing a great job. Anybody that drives around town and sees all the leaves that are out, there's a tremendous amount of leaves out this year. Um, we'll be out picking up leaves the rest of this week. Hopefully next week we don't get too much snow. But if you got leaves, get them out as soon as you can, and we'll be around to pick them up. Anybody that lives in town, any residents, if they're looking for leaves, we got a lot of leaves available. So just fill out a sheet. we would be glad to drop them off at your house. That's all I have tonight. Hey, uh, one thing for you. I, I don't know if you, you want to let everybody know. One thing I've noticed, they're, they're only clearing back roughly three to four feet. And I see you put them out by the road, but I, I notice a lot of people are standing the leaves off the road, let's say, 8 to 10 feet. And it seems like they're... The machine only reaches so far, so if right, my so guys don't pick them up, we got to bring edge. them closer to the road, and okay. they'll be glad to pick them up. No but, problem. Uh, yeah. I didn't know whether there was a proximity. I just, yeah. So something the I, machine I, only reaches so far, so okay. the leaves got to be on the shoulder. On the shoulder. Okay. Thank you. And please, no sticks and rocks. The sticks totally plug up the machine, and then the guy's got to come back to the shop, and it takes at least an hour to pull all the tubes off and get it cleaned out. So please, no sticks. Thank you. I don't think I have anything to support. Councilman uh, I wasn't going to say anything, because uh, I didn't really have anything, but I just want to remind everybody that we are all human beings in this room, and there are times that things definitely get heated. Uh, and I just would like us all to remember that as we're speaking to each other, that to talk to one another as human beings is a very, very important thing, and I don't want that to get lost in this room. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Donald Trump. We finally have a president that can make this country great again. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Supervisor. And thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Uh, I had the opportunity to talk with uh, Sean Borello after the highway, uh, after the final inspection of the highway building back there. Uh, they did a tremendous job, stayed under budget, stayed exactly where we needed them to stay to get that job done. And uh, as promised, it's done before the first snowflake fell. Uh, not very closely, but done. Um, highway uh, workers, guys, have got to do an incredible job, Bob, uh, with the leaves and everything else they have to deal with out there. It's, it's, they're doing a fantastic job. If I had to guess when they're doing mine, that thing reaches about four feet off the road at best. Uh, and that's it. So if anybody can get their leaves within four feet of that, the edge of that road, they, they can do that. So um, again, I'm going to join uh, Councilman Gensel with the wonderful news that we all got to experience last Tuesday evening. Uh, the best, but we had candidates all down the road, uh, all down the line that won. Uh, Assemblyman Dave DPH, I need to congratulate him. Our 147th uh, Assembly District here. Uh, actually, uh, Carl Sibbeth is on.